it is really funny to see how people will say, oh, especially with this OnlyFans community and and period of time that we're in where it's like people starting out as amazing creators and they're like, I will never do OnlyFans. I remember being at events like this place called the Wish House, which was uh it was that huge gambler's uh old mega mansion. What was his name? Uh it's um something Ian. Dan Dan Bilzerian. It was Dan Bilzerian's old house. I didn't know that was his old house. Yeah, the it was wish his old, house. Yes, the wish house was ah, Dan Bilzerian's old house. And so I remember being there with friends and like there was this one person like who somebody asked him, they're like, Oh, what's your OnlyFans? And we literally had to leave the place because it was so offensive to that person. And rightfully so. I mean, like they didn't want to be associated with that. They thought it was rude and abrasive. And that's totally cool for them to feel that way. And then you know, come two years later, now they're on OnlyFans and they're, you know what I mean? And it's so funny to see how this whole industry alters people. It started and off innocent and then it gets worse with time. Is it for the money, views. the likes, the interest? Attention, clout, 100 money. Views. For sure. Clout. <laughs> no for a fact. They've views. said it. It's not. It's about It's the views. attention. Yes. It's the, I need how to can be... I get more followers in a shorter amount of time? But like the certain money creators they're that we making know. too. <laughs> I happen to be on a trip just a few weeks ago talking with somebody who happens to be on OnlyFans. No judgment at all. Mm -mm. And then we're we're talking, and next thing she's like, "Let me show you," because I literally I'm going to be honest. It's not I have no judgment. I would look at OnlyFans tomorrow and be like, "But I never did." She logs in, and she's making. Over a hundred thousand a month. Like I, yeah. you hear these numbers, and you that's go, not even but that I much saw, for OnlyFans, I know, so. and I'm like, she's like, I don't know, like and I'm looking at this, and I'm sitting next to her. She's twenty, and I'm going, wow, a hundred, and some of them were close to two hundred thousand, and I'm going, and she's like, yeah, I'm investing in this, and here's my retirement account. I'm like, going, you're twenty, you're right. making over a million. Well, like, and I'm going, so that's why I go. I guess maybe ever some people doing it for the money, some or doing it for but i think yeah. to me it almost seems much more like the likes but if you well, look no at if you look at dwayne johnson if you look at ryan reynolds gal gadot none of them are on only fans and no, it's for course. a reason and right. the thing is it locks you out of so many yeah i think things, once you're done you know and yeah you, it's once like, you're done it's like you have two years to make as much money as possible and then it's the next person and then it's the next person it's and like then social it's the media next person. the next person the next yeah. person the next person yeah but the difference right. with social media Eventually is that out. if you are making if you're giving back to the world and trying to make a difference your content and creativity never really runs out because it's not about you it's about them mm -hmm. and you get in touch with like what is going on in the world how can i help people because it's like you know it's so, it's so funny like we're watching uh Trisha Paytas right now on our for you pages on tiktok and she's done so many things to get canceled logan paul has done so many things to get canceled and recently people called them geniuses because it's like they're doing these insanely controversial things like trisha paid is doing blackface or logan paul filming somebody in the suicide forest in japan it almost seems like people forgot about that or the the new generation gen z is like watching his content not even knowing that he did that because you know a lot of these kids are young and so they don't, you know what I mean? They don't even have the capacity to understand he is literally banned from a country and never allowed to step foot there again because he's a criminal there. No, you, you know, but I, people call him a genius because they're like, he did that on purpose. He'll that's say, what, you beat he'll me to it forward right. and say, I did that on purpose because now I'm relevant again. That's right. And what then just his about sales will go up or whatever will happen. But it's like, if you have to do that to stay relevant, that's kind of, I'm, I feel sorry for those people. Right. I feel sorry for the people who say, oh, I was doing it to stay relevant and now I'm getting more views than ever. It's like, yeah, that's sad. It's sad that you had to stoop that low to do something so criminal or so controversial or so disgusting that that's how you're getting back on top. But that like, goes back to the attention conversation we were talking it's about. All so about it's, it's, it's all about attention. It's all about the attention. Because the money means nothing to them. They right. have all the money in the world. What's next? Mm -hmm. I need attention. I need attention. It's like, yeah, when you do it for those reasons, it's like, sure, you'll get attention. But why would you want that kind of attention? So how is it different than working with like somebody, like you said, a, I know some of the clients you have, they're very big, they're household names. Working with someone who's been traditionally trained as an actor in the industry, how to, you know, I, I, I the, my favorite thing that I see being in the space as director and that is when I'm on set, there's 50 people. 
there's the director, there's the actor, there's the relationship. I'm getting what I want out of you, but there's all these people watching and you're, you're in the moment, right? I have some actors out there in the audience who are, you know, just shot national commercials. There's a ton of people around you who are watching every little thing here. But the difference with the creators is they're like, here you go. This is it. You're your own director, your producer, your lighting, your grip, grip the, the yep. stage. Man. <laughs> so that's, I've found that there's a, it doesn't translate that when you put them and be like, you need to do this, they, they, they melt down. So uh, going back to the, like you, go ahead. You're going to say something. Well, it's funny because the people that we've, it's not a problem. It's just that are more like high maintenance aren't them. They're more like, okay, just do whatever and post it. I've, we've actually had more problems with people who don't do acting. They're trying to look, you know, a certain way. They're more worried about their features. I feel like they're more focused on them than they are the actual film, the art of making. Actually connecting the, yeah. with the audience. But the actors As are. I, it's it's interesting. And it's funny you say that because like I remember being on stage in front of, I don't know, it was just a couple hundred people, but it was me and four other influencers or content creators if you will and it's so funny because how you're saying it doesn't translate where it's like these guys don't know how to work a crowd they don't know how to hold themselves where it's like i remember one kid was you know crossed his legs and was holding his hands like this and he was totally stiff he he was so uncomfortable and it in his you know he's like shaking and stuff and it's like and I'm over there just improving the whole thing, just being like, hey, we're having a good time. How is everybody doing today? You know, and and it's funny, but I also have performed in front of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. Exactly. Right. So it's a little bit different, even though I I'm terrible with public speaking. Oh, I, I get nervous about public speaking. Really? I can sing in See, front I of I just learned I something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can sing in front of a hundred thousand people, but that's because I've trained. I, I've gone through over you know, 10 years of training. Yeah, I've been doing it since I was 13 years old. And it's like, yeah, I have experience doing this. But with speaking, it's like, yes, we do it every day, but public speaking is so different. Right. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. because I had the training of like, yes, I've delivered lines, you know, doing Broadway shows or doing operas or whatever, where it's like, okay, I know what it's like to be in front of people. I know what they want to see. I've watched enough, like, what I actually would watch is like Jimmy Fallon or uh, Stephen Colbert and the way that their guests would appear and how they speak. And it's like, how are they so comfortable in front of this live studio audience and also about to be, you know, they're being filmed, makeup, all this. And it's like, okay, I'm just going to watch them and see how their body language is. Like, what do they say? What do they do? They're so fucking funny. <laughs> Those guys are so they're in the moment. No, seriously. They're, they're yeah. in the, exactly. Yes. They're in the moment. And, and that's what we teach is acting, you know, where it's I was, and, I was on a, a panel for actually where we met. It was some off-brand VidCon. <laughs> and there was barely anyone in the audience. But for me, the whole point of doing social media was to set a good example for kids. For when I was younger, I would see like Miley Cyrus doing her thing. Like when she started to transition, I was like, oh, this is such a bad example. Or like Demi Lovato doing her thing. And it's like, I was like, I want to be a good example. So whenever I was able to public speak on the panel, I was the one talking the most because I'm like, I get to reach kids. There are so many kids in this audience. And if I can say anything inspirational, I'm going to just all of it would come out and I was the one talking the most because I was the most passionate about it and also have a theater background. So, you know, right, performance is, yeah. Comfort to be in yeah. front of a, an audience and interesting. So 